All right. I decided to get. I decided to dress up and get dapper for this one. Okay. Well, then I'm, I'm in. I'm in my Tuesday's best. It, you know it's Wednesday, right? Well, I I know. I go to church on Tuesday. Hello and welcome to episode 52 of the Metacast podcast. That's the podcast that imp- it do- does things to itself, does things to ourselves, and does things to the self in general. Uh, my name's Ty. I'm going to be your host as always. And I'm joined by my an- annual co-host. <laughs> I-, I cannot think of an adjective for that. Fuck. An- anniversary. Anniversarial. Is that it? Can- can you make an additive firm of anniversary? Does that work? I mean, I think annual works. Annual? Semi-annual. But semi-annual is six months. You're, you're annual. You're my annual co-host. That works. Uh, tonight, like- we are talking about the, the past year. This is episode 52. We have done a year's worth of, um, of podcasts for you guys. Wait, um, I, thought we were, I thought we were announcing that we're retiring and this is our last episode. That is that is partially correct. We are we we are kind of uh, retired, um, both physical and mental. Uh, but no, we are we, we're not we're we're definitely not stopping what we're doing. But we are uh, we are changing. Wait, I thought I thought we were on the same page. I thought this was this is gonna. Huh? Well, Wait, I I didn't, didn't tell, tell you me that we were gonna keep. I thought that we were. Uh... I didn't tell you that you have been replaced. I have a new co-host. Um, you you are you're done. You're retiring. Um this is awkward i should have told you this off the air that probably would have been uh in the future um i will i will make sure conversations like this happen in a in a private setting off the air with your new host now that i'm fired exactly apparently. Yeah. i thought um, but you still have we still have this episode we still have to make it through the rest of this one i'm sorry i don't understand where all this is coming from i thought that we were fine Oh. Your, your mind is going wild again, my dear. We have everything, and it's all in your mind. It's just, it's not it's not just you. Give it's me, me a reason. Give it's me not a reason. you. It's me. I don't want your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All joking aside, we're not quitting. We're not. That was just yeah. It was just me being stupid. Yes. No. Um, but but we are we are uh, changing the uh, yeah. what, formatting. I guess I, I don't know what the right term would be. The content. We're just we're just we're just, we're just changing our. We're changing our everything. We're just changing because it's fun. Because well, not we, everything. Well, yeah, I'm not everything. I mean, I'll still be here. You'll still be here. Mm-hmm. Your hair will still be fantastic. Oh, um, mine will be mediocre at best. Um, I I'll was... still have bad beard genetics. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about changing my lights, though. What if? What if for the next year I had cool. different colored lights? Would make the people, those thumbnails stand out a little differently, but but yeah, we are going to go. So uh, the past over the past few weeks, we have done quite a few episodes um, like this, and I think we both kind of enjoyed the formatting and kind of. I mean, we're both um, really big fans of film. We enjoy watching film, and we've really enjoyed doing the the movie discussion and review type episodes. Um, and I think at the same time, we both kind of um, were getting uh, a little stress and a little pressed for time with the uh, content that is more geared for um, what I would consider like, I, I guess just more active behavior on our parts, having to research, having to, you know, do things to actively work on making changes for yourself and things like that. It, 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 it becomes a lot when you also work a full-time job and things like that. And um, you know, not that I would want to stop working on myself or being the best person that I can. However, you know, every week coming up with a new topic of that and trying to work on all of them and trying to be, you know, um, actually like honest to work on them is, is it becomes a lot. It becomes a a lot and it's a lot to keep up with. And I think the biggest thing is having a, a hobby like this, something that's fun to do with my best friend should feel more fun than an extension of work. It shouldn't feel like, you know, getting done with an eight hour work day to then, all right, now it's time to research and, give like a dissertation on something that feels like more work. Um, yeah. So I think that we're going to have something that's, that's uh, more enjoyable for the two of us to do. And I think that hopefully that will come across in the content that it should be um, more fun. And I think that we're just hopefully going to enjoy the, the next yeah. year. Not, not that I haven't enjoyed the past year. 
but I'm just hoping that the next year will be will be um, even more fun than the last 52 weeks, man. Yeah, agreed, man. I think the the road the road forward will be just as much fun, if not more, as the road behind. And you know, like for me, like I've had sort of the same ideas. Like I, I'm, I mean, I'm satisfied and I'm proud with what we've done the last year. I mean, once we actually sort of got a uh, um, a, sh- a thing because you know we started this out you know not really knowing what the we started what we out doing. Thing- thingless yeah yeah we just we just did it and it's like well we've been kind of doing this can we just do this thing for now and then mm-hmm. you know the market's very saturated for self-improvement podcasts but i think that if 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 one were inclined one could go back and listen to our past episodes um with the exception of maybe what the first seven or eight and i think that if you like look at what we talked about and explore yourself as much as we explored ourselves and try to apply those things to your life, then you'll live a better life. You'll be a better person. And, you know, for me, like I'll go back and listen to the things that we did so I can not be a hypocrite to myself Mm -hmm. um, and enjoy the work that we've done. But, you know, it also gets to the point, like doing a weekly episode and that kind of stuff. There's overlap everywhere. Yeah. So it, it, there's only so much you can talk about in so many places. You can go like, you know, the minimalist podcast. They talk about weird shit on there. It has nothing to do with minimalism. If, if like, Speaking of like the overlap in, in our um, in our content, though, I feel like if we did a super cut of every time that I've said just like we talked about on last episode over the past year, like there would probably be literally 52 times that I've said that where like there seems to be an over, like an overarching theme that we run into that every episode we talk about, it's either balance or it's, um, there's just like a few things that it's like, it seems to tie over to everything. Oh shit. Ashton, what's up, man? How are you doing tonight? Um, but yeah, so, so what we had planned for kind of a, a little recap and, uh, a way to wrap up the last year was um oh man this is gonna be so weird uh okay so what we're gonna do i have i have a scene here that has a um that has a one minute timer on it and we are going to spend one minute talking about each episode that we did for the past year so for the next 52 minutes it's gonna be us trying to have a one minute brief conversation just to kind of are we summing up what we talked about or are we what is the goal is the goal to summarize the episode or is the goal to have a brief one minute conversation about that topic i mean i think that the conversation thing the conversation thing works i mean pretty well honestly like this episode's for fun Mm -hmm. like that's why i'm dressed funny if you're not watching us on youtube i'm a dork so feel free to make fun of my outfit (laughs) Because like I just want trust me, it, <laughs> even the ones not watching it on YouTube still know you're a dork. You did not have to tell them. <laughs> they're they're well aware. <laughs> you're right. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I I just figure we'll just fucking run with it. We'll just you know do it live. We'll just start and then say this thing and say that thing. And I think that the way it's gonna have to go is we'll probably have to like speak in short sentences or like talk over each other or like interrupt each other or whatever and i i'm just doing this for fun i can't remember half the shit that we've talked about true and some of these will actually be a surprise for me oh yeah some of them be kind of like oh i remember this and some of it will be oh look where we are now so i i guess if we have a little mini discussion we'll be summarizing our discussion anyway because i'm sure we'll have the same ideas and same points right maybe what maybe a lot has changed in the year especially for some of these earlier episodes like i would be interested to know like to go back and look to see if my position on things has changed in a year or or what but and obviously based on the discussion we're having about this i'm gonna have a big challenge because i'm super wordy today Yeah. (laughs) yeah i'm always super wordy i'm wordy all the time i'm a wordy kind of guy um, well, I did, I did kind of realize that the, do you have the stream pulled up? Because the, the timer is only on screen. So there's oh, not fuck. like a, yeah, there's not like an alert noise or anything that's going to let you know. So unless you want me to like cut you off and tell you when the time's up, if you're talking or, um, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, just going to do that. If you're the stream, one that's talking, gonna, yeah, just be like, stop. Yep. Yeah. Cause it's going to, you'll have like a five second delay basically. If you're, if you're trying to watch it on there. Right, um, you know, can you make a buzzer sound? Um, that might hmm. wear out your vocal cords after a while. Like, I was gonna look for something like, that had the button. Episode forty-five. 
<gasps> like if I had a if I had the operation board game laying around, that would be really convenient. Or like, yeah, I don't have any. I don't have a button that can like make a buzzer noise. Unfortunately, oh. no. Um, whatever thing, whatever thing you think will tell me to shush. It'll be you it'll be it'll be hand him. farts. It'll be hand farts each time. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, with that being said, let's just let's just fucking get into it. Um. Oh my god, dude. This is this is gonna be rough. All right. So episode. I'm so nervous. Okay. Go. Episode zero was what are we doing? And go. All right, we have so no fucking clue. We, we didn't have a clue, and that was the, that was the whole point. Was at the beginning we wanted to start a podcast, and we took too long talking about what we wanted it to be about so the idea was let's just start doing live conversations about the talking about a podcast and that'll just become the podcast yeah and if i recall i think i had a shitty microphone at the time yes that was before uh, so that i gave was you only, the blue right yeah we we talked about the music mm -hmm. uh bluegrass was the idea that i came up with uh that's a lot of what my notes are. It's like, we need music. We need graphics. We need, like, that's, that was my notes for that episode. Like, it's like, well, we need stuff. Yeah. Um, and that was like, uh, yeah. It, uh, I mean, it was, um, it was a good idea to start a podcast well, with live episodes saying, like, well, what, what are we going to do? Like, it was certainly fun. And I mean, I thought it was entertaining. And I think that it's, you know, since podcasting oh, is in style. Time. Um, all right. Episode one, then, is where are we going? We didn't fucking know. Which is, but it's pretty much the same thing. Like, what are we doing? Where yeah. are we going? I kind of see those two episodes as like a part A and part B of a, of a larger story. Which, which the big story is, we want to start a podcast, we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. Right. I recall that being like a no expectations kind of thing, too, where we were just kind of like, we're going wherever the fuck this happens to go. Yeah, yeah. That was the, that was the idea, is it's like, we are going to talk about a, it was basically a different topic every week. Um, we, we started to talk about that, I think, during this episode and formed those ideas. Um, this is the first episode with my new camera, new mic. I noticed that's a big difference. Um, some quality upgrades, at least on my side for this one. And th I think that should be the first episode you had. You're uh, the blue then. Yeah, the, the, you, it's actually your microphone that I've been using this whole time. True, yes, yeah. Oh, what's up, Lee? Um, yeah, so that, that, God, the, dude, these, for these first two, a minute's almost too long. Like, <laughs> the whole point is like, all right, we're talking about the fact that we were starting a podcast. Um, okay, well, that's time, that's time. All right, so episode three, nope. Sorry, episode two was why self-esteem sucks. Can we just mention that we started at episode zero because we're fucking nerds? Yeah, true. Yeah, that did that. Well, like, that, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so we, th this is where we kind of started the idea of the self, which is where it came yeah. from the, 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 like the, well, it didn't come from the topic of the, the meta or the title of the Metacast, but the medic, the top title came from that. Um, but we knew, yeah, we knew since we were doing a podcast about itself that it was kind of like a meta idea. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where we were going with that. And I think that I mentioned that I fucking hate the term self-esteem. And yes. that it's more like self-value, that you value yourself enough to get better, but you also acknowledge that you kind of suck. Um, and I think that at one point we kind of discussed, like, at the time, and this is interesting because a year later, I think we actually had a discussion between the two of us about issues that each of us had yeah. with self-esteem in the past and, you know the you know like when, the other day when i was, when I was we're, we're out of like, time no way <laughs> yeah we're, we're out of time all right <laughs> i'm so fucking sorry all right so the next the next episode episode three is uh the big oh my god what is this one the beginner's guide to death positivity i forgot about yeah, that you know, yeah we, our friend bridget was on and yeah. we watched like this is when we were still doing the media thing where we had like videos and shit yes and there's like this person that basically looked like betty page that was like all about like being positive about death, like writing your will. By the way, I still haven't written my will. Oh shit, yeah. And I don't have burial insurance. I okay, so I wrote I have a I don't know how much it has to be legally I have a soft draft of my will in a Word document. I don't know how legally binding that is, probably not at all, but I've at least got like details. Like I know where my magic car, uh, collection's going and stuff like that and my like PC stuff. Um <sighs> Yeah, so that was like our, when we were still doing like guest picks the topic and it's pretty much like fair game. And yeah, it was, I mean, that was an interesting topic though. I had not really learned a lot about, I hadn't really considered much about like what my body's going to do after I die. 
before before that discussion really yeah um I, I don't know, that was a weird one for me like uh, oh, fuck. Know, we're, I, we're out of time again fuck <laughs> This uh, is hilarious. This is tough, dude. This is really tough. Um, episode four was 101 unusual uses for the fear of commitment. Which is when you were doing all the weird, like, clickbaity titles. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that was like oh, for a... The... Yeah. Go ahead. When did you stop doing the game show host thing? Do you know, oh, like... I don't remember. Hi, welcome to the podcast. Yes. <laughs> I never even, like, tried to do that either. It was just <laughs> like... It's just like my like my presenting voice. You know what I mean? Like it just comes out like that. Yeah, um, yeah. This is this is weird because the person we had on was a guy that came to my company to assist with the recovery from a cyber attack. His team came out, and I invited him onto the podcast. His name was um, Tom, I think. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of a weird because I showed up late for this. Too. Yeah, this is the you one where you you didn't know for like twenty minutes. It was uh, looking at the time; it's actually more like forty-nine <laughs> minutes. It, you show up about forty-nine minutes into the episode. <laughs> I don't even remember why. I guess it was work-related. I get yeah. Well, but he was able to get out on time. Well, he was back home. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. That's right. That's it right. It seemed like travels. Um, oh shit, we we are out of time on that one. Fuck. Um. Okay. Next one is uh episode five. Um, gender-based marketing in 2019. Um, so that was fuck. What did this have to do with? It we was were, uh, like all oh, the the like commercials. A, yeah, it was like the Dr Pepper ad and like the the ones like where they're like, oh hey men, eat burgers and shit like that. Yeah, and the uh, um, the Sasquatch soap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Squat Squatch. They just got. Oh, just Squatch. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. By the way, their marketing is bullshit. <laughs> But yeah, so it's hazardous chemicals. So it is kind of funny that it like we have to um I mean this is even like kind of ties into like the tribal idea to some degree when it's like we have to have like marketing even that like kind of plays to this like division between between genders for some reason that like oh this is I mean, even like the stupid strong enough for a man but made for a woman or whatever like yeah, stuff like that is just like, kind of dumb like like extreme for for men that do extreme stuff like you know and then there's like the dr pepper one was fucking hilarious that one was funny it, because, because that one kind of made fun of itself it did it was it was very oh fuck we're, very, we're out of time again <laughs> all right episode six was um oh cam cam girls on twitch which is still like a, a, a actual hot topic today a year later ongoing i feel like I feel like we were just a couple like resentful males doing a podcast on Twitch. <laughs> well, no, it's like, it, I mean, in our reality, in our reality, it's more because it's a, it was a, a topical thing. You know, it's like, I didn't like pick that topic because I had any sort of like, um, uh, self-interest in it. It's more just because it was like, okay, what are, what are things people are talking about right now that may get us clicks? And that was like a topic that was kind of like in the, you know, in, in the subreddits and stuff at the time. Um, yeah, that one, that one was one where, I mean, it's interesting, like, how we did kind of, like, I mean, look through the terms of service, and it's kind of weird that there's a lot of stuff that goes on on Twitch, and it seems yeah. like they don't really want to happen, but they're fine to leave it in the gray area, because it's kind of, I mean, it's obviously oh, a profit interest, yeah, definitely. I think Bridget was on this one, and Bridget actually had some interesting thoughts about um, privilege between like one sex versus the other. Mm -hmm. And actually, she she was able to sort of uh, articulate them in a way that I thought was really cool. Out of time um, again. Uh, episode seven is um, self improvement, how to start, and when to stop. This is you go go go? Oh, um, that one was a little awkward. Um, I think that we sort of had a friend on just to sort of have him on. And uh, the talk was interesting because it actually seemed to be centered on other people a lot more than the self, mm -hmm. um, which was interesting. It, it had a lot to do with like how external factors sort of uh, approach it. I think I think we touched on perfection ism right like Have the, probably, yeah not to because that was the when to stop thing like when is, yeah. when does it go too far and what things like because i don't really remember exactly um where we went with that other than like i mean it was a lot uh, of just the idea of like how do you isolate something you need to get better and then the, oh, yeah, the big yeah. thing was was then yeah how do you avoid the perfectionism and figure out like okay what when is when is good enough good enough 
And that, that was a tough thing that I remember that I struggled with is when you find good enough. Fuck, we are out of time again. Jesus. Um, episode eight. Oh my God, this is a good one. Episode eight was galactic colonization. <laughs> we had a chemical engineer on that I work with who's actually a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a workout nerd too. Yeah, he was a cool dude. That yeah. was like, I think I just mentioned that, was, that like uh, two Dan, days before right? the episode. Yeah, yeah, Dan. I think I mentioned the idea like two days before the episode. And you're like, this is going to be fucked up, but okay. <laughs> We was like, I mean, I'm just always down to talk about anything, so it definitely worked. Oh, yeah. that, oh my God, that is when I was way into the no shave until WoW Classic. That was like the week before WoW Classic came out, actually. So oh, yeah, I, I yeah, my mustache is, is strong in that one. Okay. <laughs> I was supposed to talk about the subject that I'm talking about my mustache. Uh, but it's still funny. It's, well, but you could, review. you could, you could start a colony in that mustache, though, if we're talking about galactic colonization. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but no Bottom that was line, uh humans can't travel fast enough basically yeah i mean that's kind of the big yeah the big the big uh bottleneck with that is faster than light travel if we can't do that we're never really going to colonize anywhere that that's meaningful um yeah. okay episode nine was uh is oh is modern technology making us weaker this was an interesting conversation i liked this one yeah that was actually a lot of fun um the thing I remember the most from that is that we were talking about how someone that uses technology to do a specific task would take it, if that's taken away and they had to do it without automation or without technology, yeah. that they would suck at it at first, but eventually they'd be able to learn how to do it better. And Probably, the same yeah. with somebody that didn't use any kind of technology to do it, would be very adept at doing that, and it would take them a while. But regardless, the technology would make each person more efficient if they practice it enough. Exactly, yeah. Yes. But, but there and, is and the, the, the whole big part of it, like, being a crutch at certain points, though. True, true. And, like, a new perspective that I have now since that episode is that it doesn't make any sense to shame people younger than you because they're more prosperous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it is kind of like funny somehow. to see a kid just pick up like an iPad or iPhone and just learn it like immediately. It's like, holy yeah. shit. <laughs> it's crazy. But I, I feel like the, 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 uh, the conclusion we got to is balance <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, you know, you can, if you use it in a, in a, in a specific way that it's not necessarily going to make you weaker. Uh, episode 10 was motivation versus inspiration. Cool. That was another one Tyler, that I thought I was like interesting. That. Whoa. Tyler, I like that. I like that. Hey, oh, hey, thank you for the 100 bits, big dog. I appreciate that. Getting them tips. Thanks. Um, that money. I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart our time for this one. <laughs> okay, where do you go? All right. Uh, oh, did I, did I actually restart it? Hold on. Oh, it's not restarting. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, restart it. All right. Um, motivation versus inspiration was an interesting conversation. Um, it came down to a lot. Wasn't a lot of it kind of like internal versus external? Yeah, I think so. I think that what we got to is motivation was like understanding the what and why within yourself. And then inspiration was like, yeah, I, okay. Thank you for jogging my memory. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, and then inspiration is all about like other people like, you know, doing this thing and that thing, watching this video, reading that article, looking at those pictures, that kind of shit. Yeah, because you wouldn't really, it would feel weird to say you inspired yourself. Like, it, like more like if right. you're if you're inspired by something, it's going to be external. Like, I can't think of like something that I've done myself to inspire myself. It just seems like yeah. I don't know, it seems like a strange thing to say. Narcissism. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was an interesting idea, though, because it, it started the I mean, we did a few different episodes that were something versus something. And I think this is then the, the first of those, um, but kind yep. of just comparing and contrasting two ideas that are often hand in hand, but do have some some distinct differences. Um, episode 11 was um oh i liked it this is the one that the the title couldn't be the same on twitch because one of the words was flagged i tried to type and it was uh, like i got like a like a weird error on twitch and i couldn't figure out what was going on but the title was from trolling to sadism excuse me the, the burps were not in the title i'm sorry the, tro <laughs> <laughs> the title was from trolling to sadism the degrees of psychopathy and i think that um i think psychopath is a band word on twitch uh whose idea was this that's probably yours I mean, fuck you i think i i i'm i uh, guarantee okay. it was yours. It was, it was, i know it was my idea yeah. what do you mean you guarantee <laughs> just because i remember it <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah it was my idea um i don't even remember where we went with this i think there was just the idea that some people are kind of fucked up and that you know there's a little bit of that in everybody and maybe yeah that was definitely a that big part of it 
That was a weird one. I feel like I feel like the degree of introspection on that one was a lot like the Joker episode we did. Yeah, I, I forget what started that conversation. Yeah. There was something going on at that yeah. time that it made more sense. This was September. Oh, this is actually September 11th of 2019. Yeah. I don't, I didn't. Oh, wow. That. That's um, weird. Oh, I remember us acknowledging that kind of weird yeah. coincidence. We didn't plan it that way. I don't but remember. That's also, what it, that episode's relevant right now. True. Yeah, definitely true. Like, what's um, the stuff that... We're out of time. Episode right. 12. Uh, I wanted to think of a better title, but I procrastinated. Can we talk about this one later? I, I, I feel like we should. <laughs> maybe wait to the last 10 seconds to just say what we want to say about this episode. Like, I feel like I can't really do it right now. Uh, okay. Ready? Stop. Yeah. If we just waited maybe a little bit to really talk about this episode, I think that would make more sense. Talk about something that's more interesting. Like, well, this is still when this is still when like I had nothing in my background, no, no flags hanging, no infinity gauntlet. I don't know when those are going to show up, but that's that's I'm most excited for the appearance of the Affinity Gauntlet. I think that's going to be what what really brought the podcast together. I I had a bike then. Yeah, your bike has not been there for a while. Okay, so hold on. The last few seconds. Um, procrastination. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Now we need to get like actually get it done. Um, basically, yeah. If you waste too much time, you're going to run out of time. Do it now. Yeah, do, yeah. Doing it now is better than than not doing it now. Uh, episode 13 was, uh, what is relax? And that was one. I liked that idea. Um, it was, it, we do, we do struggle to, um, for how lazy some people are, we do struggle to, to find times to relax and, uh, you know, rest basically, I guess in our, in our society, it's kind of like the, the incentive is to always be on, always be moving. Um, ABC always be closing. <laughs> yeah just go 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 all the time and it was one of those times where um i think i was super stressed and i had someone ask me what i did to relax and that's where the title came from yeah that's so right I was like what what do i do to relax and we you and i had talked about how relaxing is subjective that yeah something like riding bikes like road bikes for me or lifting weights for you is something that like we found like relaxing or yeah we talked and, about uh, even like doing like a high intensity first person shooter that for a lot of people yeah. may be like you know anxious like that can be relaxing yeah that was a fun episode though i think i i i realized that i think that what we i think one of the conclusions we made was that we weren't crazy because we yeah. both thought we were weird because we did like things that a lot of people don't find relaxing we're out of time. Um, episode 14 was the masculinity debate part one. This is where we, so we started, I guess, a few episodes earlier during the uh, gender-based marketing. We started discussing different ideas of like masculinity versus feminine. Well, it wasn't even versus femininity. It was just like the ideas of the term masculinity, I guess. And it kind of yeah. like sparked the idea to do a debate on like, what is the validity of that term or the usefulness of that term, I guess. How, wouldn't you like getting in a philosophy or something at the time too? Like, wasn't that? Oh yeah. Yeah. That was definitely were, what I was listening to a lot of like destiny debates online and stuff think, like that. Yeah. I think we were trying to figure out what we actually disagreed on. Cause we, mm -hmm. we were like, one of us is going to be devil's advocate no matter what we fucking do. And I was like, wait a second. We disagree on this. Oh yeah. Um, the idea we were just going to like do a debate. That's right. Yeah. But we try to find something that we did actually disagree on. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and that was a like a that one became really semantic really quickly. Yeah, and we stayed on we stayed on like the semantic side of things for a while. Um, we and are, we are out of time. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dude, a minute is short, man. Holy shit! If we do this for the next year, we're gonna do two minutes per episode. <laughs> um, episode fifteen is how to ruin your life. This one was funny. I liked this your idea for this one. Yeah. It was like so satirical and we like leaned into that hardcore. Did we ever put a disclaimer at the end where we were like, we don't really want you to do this shit. We did in audio. I never put like edited anything into the video. Um, but no, but yeah, basically, I mean, we just gave like as many tips as we could. That's bad advice, right? Yeah. I mean, we went crazy with the bad advice. So if you, if you want to go back and listen to that, do the exact polar fucking opposite of everything we said yeah i mean well, unless, was, unless you do want to ruin your life and then in that case i think right, that yeah, you know right, you could yeah. probably do what we said and you would be very successful i would say 
I mean, that was solid advice for ruining your life. Yeah, we had um, some good plans. And we're good actors, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. Which we are. Yeah. Yeah. Our um, pants are dead. The, uh, yeah, see, I wish we could have added extra sentence to certain episodes because there's ones that we needed more to. This one we covered in like 52 seconds. Um, all right, we're, we're out of time on this one. Uh, episode 16. Oh, I liked this one. Episode 16 was Conflictus Avoidus. Um, which was, yeah, I, I think was a very important conversation for me to have at that time. I don't know if you like chose it. I don't know if you did that on purpose. If you like saw that it was something that I needed and chose it for that reason, or if it like was in, in your own well, life or what, but it was something a lot of us need, but I, I invited a coworker who has the exact same problem. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> he was like, I, uh, that's where it's Michael. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, I'm not good with conflict. I was like, I know you want to come on. Um, poorly selected guest, by the way. Um, hmm. would like to have Michael on again for other stuff for sure, especially with the new, the new kind of thing. He was like, he was not down for the idea. I think it's funny because he actually, I think he accepted the guest spot to avoid conflict. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Michael, if you're listening, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, I did, I remember talking to him. That he was a good guest, though. Yeah, it, if he's interested in coming on uh, sometime the next year, have him pick a movie. That would be great um that's that's it for 16 episode 17 uh this is uh i i well i guess it's the masculinity debate part two it's just called masculinity revisited so i think that that's the part two yeah oh yeah no hold on because we were gonna do that's right all right let me start the timer so we were gonna do more of the i forget how many of these we ended up doing but this is the one where we brought bridget on so it wasn't just the final part of our debate because we were gonna do like with a few different points of view we want to have an, another gender's like perspective and that's like, and, and Bridget, I think is actually a very appropriate guest for that one for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, that was fun. I do not remember exactly where we I actually kind of go. I want to go back and watch that one. Cause that was almost like a sort of a temperance for us to have like another person's perspective. Exactly. Yeah. Like Cause we had already had the else. same conversation between us and it was like, okay, now let's hear this guest's perspective on it. And I think we were talking about doing several of these, but I think we just ended up with the one. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. That was one, like that was another victim to just having more ideas than time where we ended up with like, I mean, cause we even like being done with this thread of topics, which I'm sure that like the topics will still come up over the next year when discussing movies, but like we've still got, I think like 10 or 12 episodes in like a queue that is like, well, you know, maybe we'll get around to this some other time, but um, but yeah, we definitely had the problem of more episodes than than uh, actual time to do it. Um, next episode, episode 18. This is actually the first episode, basically, in the new format. This is the this is the Joker movie discussion and review. So this was with spoilers. With spoilers, correct? Yeah. Well, I think they're all going to be with spoilers. I don't think we're ever going to like try to avoid. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, so Joker was great. I think uh, we I loved it. We went and saw it together. Um. And I think we were both big fans of it and thought that it was a, um, one of those movies that there's a lot there to talk about. Yeah. We, a lot of that was very like introspective, kind of pulled back the layers of self and really went with the name of our podcast, you know, yeah. meta. Yeah. Um, that was an, and uh, God damn it. Joaquin Phoenix is such a good fucking actor. I watched gladiator recently too. God, yeah, he's, yeah. He's so fucking good. Um, he is good, yeah. but, yeah, it, but Joker was, I think Joker was cool because we were able to to talk about a movie, but tie into a lot of our other themes that we kind of had going on. Yeah, um, which, which honestly, it, I think it, we've done every time we've discussed a movie, really. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, and, and it's sort of, it's interesting because like we didn't even really have anything established about where we were going at this point. Like we just saw the movie and it was like, hey, you want to talk about it? Like, yeah, let's talk about it. True, yeah. Um, episode 19 was, is nihilism meaningless? <laughs> and this was one yeah we were doing more i mean so we were still interested in the idea of the self and it was still like not specifically geared towards self improvement i think like i don't even know if i begin the episodes here with improves itself improves ourselves or improves the self in general i don't know when that started that was the, that was the next episode after this oh was it okay okay um so yeah so we were still looking at just like kind of um philosophical ideas in in general yeah. and um yeah, so yeah, the nihilism one was really interesting, though. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know um, about nihilism or, or what it meant or anything. That was a, that was a cool episode. That, 
about there's like different types and like different applications for it. That episode was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> Cause it was like, it's a, it's a problem that a lot of, I think a lot of really intelligent people have, or at least people that think that they're particularly intelligent because they're like somehow determining that your life doesn't mean anything makes you smart. I don't know. Well, it's, I, I think it's the, the awareness of it. Cause there is the whole like ignorance is bliss thing where it's like, yeah. you know, it's like a certain level of self-awareness comes with a certain level of, of despair, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I think the major conclusion that I came to, at least from my perspective on it, was that... We are out of time. To, to not... no, no, just <laughs> we, I mean, we, we are, but that was just the perfect time to throw that out. No, I do want, I do want to hear your conclusion, though. Oh, God. It was just that... Um using the fact that you're going to die and that what you do won't matter using that as an excuse to do whatever the fuck you want is not a good idea true yeah true true yeah. um episode 20 was a uh, failure to launch syndrome which coincidentally that movie is on netflix again i think i've been like scrolling through netflix and saw that uh, that movie back out there i think i need to watch it again um <laughs> This is the, the appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Episode 20 is the, the, first, the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. That's exciting. Okay. Um, uh, this, is, this is just all about, like, you know, what happens and, like, the impact of, you know, not leaving your parents' house and, like, the reasons why and how people used to stay at home for a long time and they wouldn't really leave their family home until they mm -hmm. got married. And, you know, like, the cultural changes, right? Like, yep. what? we think of it one way versus another i don't know if we talked about the developmental challenges but staying at your family home for an extended period of time kind of keeps you in the same headspace mentally yeah um, yeah and it, and it depends like you know who who you are and w what that that situation is actually like but mm -hmm. um this is i think i was in texas no and you got your bike behind you well, no, I mean, like, I was oh. in Texas when we discussed that we were going to do this one. Oh, okay, gotcha. And I think it was the next week when I was back when we did it. Oh, um, I think you're, yeah. No, 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 maybe that was right before I left for Texas. Oh, you know, you know what? I think the next episode, you might be out of town. Yeah, um, I yes, was at so, my sister's house, yeah. Correct, yes, yeah, so we're out of, we're out of time on that one, episode 20, oh, what the, what the deuce? Hold on. Wait, did we skip 20? What the, what the fuck happened? Wait, wait, Ty. Uh, hold on, hold what? on. Do we need to do this episode next week? What's episode? No, we did an episode 21. Where is it? Episode 21 see. is the... Is on, hold on. Is episode on 21 Apple? is perfectionism. Oh, you did that solo. Yeah. Why is it not on the playlist? Why is it not on YouTube? It is. It's it, on YouTube. Well, why is it not oh, on the list of... I might have added it to the wrong playlist. Okay, so I need to fix what playlist that episode is in. Um, but yeah, that was my solo episode. Okay. So yeah, my bad. For so I guess when I uploaded that episode, I uploaded it to the wrong playlist. It is actually not on. So I need to fix that. That's a note to myself. But episode twenty one is perfectionism, and yeah, that was the yeah. episode then. So yeah, you are right. You were talking. We, we there was a few things that happened with you having to like travel, and I forget exactly what happened while you weren't able to make this one. But this is the one episode I had to do by myself. Oh, I was traveling. I think I was traveling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the year where I had to travel for no. Maybe I wasn't traveling for work. I can't remember. Like I was, I feel like I did like a, a work trip and then I ended up like it would have my been. Family in the midst of it. I was about to say it would have been Thanksgiving. Yeah, but this one's all you. Yeah, this was this is literally all me. It was just um, but I mean the ideas came from both of us, and I and we both I mean like ha have struggled with the same thing, and I know I struggle with it a lot. But the the wanting everything to be perfect, and that was I mean that is a big problem of mine and that is literally like we talked about with the first two episodes that is the reason why this podcast came together the way that it did was because i realized that the way my perfectionism works i sit on content until it is perfect if it's a drawing if it's a song if it's a video anything doing something live like this i can't sit on it it's just it's already out there um out of time on that one episode 22 is uh fail fish and that's the one where you're out of town and this was just basically about failure yep that was a good one though, because we addressed like you know not being afraid of it, and it was a, a really good natural like following episode for the perfectionism one. Yeah, because it, it was just the idea that you know failing isn't necessarily something to be afraid of; it's actually something to be proud of because it means that you've done stuff. Exactly. Um, yeah. So long as you choose to learn from it, because some people don't. Some people just 
keep doing the, the same kind of stuff and never really get learning any kinds of lessons from it. Was well, the whole quote? I mean, I, I'm sure it's not the quote you used for the episode, but the whole like a master has failed more times than a novice has begun, or something like oh, that. Like where it's like, it's, uh, if you if you wish to be a master, you must first be willing to be a fool. Well, that, that's one too, that but there, there's that. there's also just one about like literally a master has failed more times than a novice uh, has tried, or something like that. And it's just like it is important that it's like. Yeah, to, to master something, to be good at something, it requires failure. That is necessary. Mm. Failure is not a, a negative thing. It is a necessary step towards success. Um, that is uh, episode 22. Episode 23 was, um, should you cure your anxiety? I liked that. I liked that it was a, a question like that because similar to, um, uh, similar to like the um, selfish idea, a lot of times we think of anxiety as strictly negative and it's yeah. not, I mean, we did kind of talk about like, I mean, it's it, just as far as like uh, evolutionarily viable anxiety is kind of like a tool. Like we have it for a reason, you know, it kind of like it's stuck around and it kind of like it became yeah. a thing for a reason. A lot of times yeah. anxiety out of control is a very bad thing. Yeah. I think we talked about like whether or not it was negative and if it's negative, like what, what about it? I don't really remember exactly how we like went like as far as like the good and bad of it. Um, I, I don't recall. Like I think we talked about the different the different ways that we dealt with it, but I I don't remember mm. it clearly. I don't either, man. That was that was twenty some weeks ago. Yeah. I considered like re-listening to so many of our episodes to prepare for this, but that was just it. Would just took way too much effort, man. Yeah, I thought about it too, and I was like, yeah, that'll just take too damn long. Um, I, I was like, yeah, there's just no way. Episode 24, uh, <laughs> sorry, episode 24, too blessed to be stressed, question mark? I remember that one. That was a, that was a, that was actually a really, really funny title. I remember like thinking that one was particularly hilarious. Yeah, I thought that was a good title. Yeah, that was still like rotating out of the like clickbaity titles. But yeah, so obviously with a, um, with subject matter that has to do with like, you know, improving yourself and your situation, stress is a big part of our daily lives now. I mean, I think that's just kind of like, unfortunately, the, at least in the Western world, stress is a big part of our life, right? Yeah. Is my mic on? Did yeah, I just yeah. push the wrong button? Okay. No, no, it's on. So yeah, we talked about how to deal with it, how to, um, how to accept yeah. it, I guess. Like whether or not it was actually like a bad thing. And, you know, like if you think about like, um, like, uh, like weightlifting and stuff, mm -hmm. like, um, they call it like adaptive stress that you know yeah. you you use you, you subject your body to stress and then you get stronger from it you know yeah. that i think we talked about like if you give if you stress out too much and if you don't like unwind or decompress that it can actually be like very detrimental exactly yep yep um episode 25 next one of the two like comparing and contrasting ideas this was confidence versus arrogance oh yeah and this is what I liked because those are, those are two things that there's a lot of crossover, but they're also very distinctly different. True. And I think it's like, it's the, the core of what they are is very different, but a lot of times the behavior can be hard to decipher, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Cause you know, some people like it, it's, it, yeah, it, it, you can look at someone who's arrogant and somehow think that they have some degree of confidence, but you don't actually realize. But more recently, I actually found out that like when I when I um, decided to stop with the the arrogant persona mm -hmm. that I was kind of faking for a while, I realized I had no real confidence. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, I mean, like we talked about on that. What was your? You kind of boiled it down to confidence being, uh, yeah. The, the, Internal understanding of who you are and arrogance is was the external representation of your own insecurities. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I think that was I think that's like the best way to kind of sum up where we got to on that episode. Um episode 26 was uh highway to the comfort zone. This was a cool conversation. I liked the I really liked the idea of stepping out of your comfort zone and trying to recognize where you kind of build that that box for lack of a better terms of like, you know. Your, your 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 comfort area. Yeah, that was a good one, uh, and I think we talked about like sort of how in the in at, for, at least for like the recent past for us during that episode. So like we were two people that weren't really that 
bothered by being uncomfortable. That was also, I completely forgot, that was a Christmas episode, too. I forgot to throw that one out there. Was it? Yeah, that was, it was filmed on December 25th, actually, yeah. I had the Christmas tree up and everything, red and green lights and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, what a, yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't do seasonal themes, y'all. Yeah. That's just not something we do. We just... Um, yeah, but I don't really know anything. Um, I can't recall a lot of what we talked about other than the fact that, like, we weren't really – we talked a lot. Like, you know, that was a 90-minute episode, and we still weren't done at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, 27 is – Oh, that's right. Highway to the Comfort Zone Part 2. Perfect. Okay. So we we did talk. Uh, I mean, obviously we weren't done at the end because we had a part two. Um, so yeah, it came to, uh, we were talking a lot about um, just the importance of stepping out of the comfort zone. I think it's like realizing like how nestled we kind of get into our into our comfort zones and then the ideas of like how do we make sure we step out? Uh, like almost like tactics or things we can do to make sure we step out, stuff like that. Okay, I remember now because we talked about a lot of like what it was and how to identify it and all that. And I think the next episode was more about like actual practice. Probably, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, yep. But yeah, I mean that is like um, that was another one that felt very uh, uh, felt like, felt like it worked well for me because like it's something that I know that I do a lot is find like a a comfort zone and just and just chill in it and stay and stay in it so it's like making myself do things that are a little outside of that is is very very healthy and something that i've tried to um in the 20 some weeks since then force myself to do you know multiple times going out with you different things like that um uh episode 28 was uh strong that was was that with sarah yeah uh, yeah Sarah was on that one yep yeah <clears throat> it was that was funny because at one point in the midst of the episode, Sarah was like, why is it always physical with you? And I was like, because it's the one thing I can't do. Damn it. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. 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 And, well, because I mean, it is, what well, is true that it's like when a lot of people hear the word strong, that is where their mind goes to first true. is physical strength. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, since that episode, I've, I've actually realized that, you know, there, there really are a lot of ways to be strong. Yeah. And that I I have I myself have sort of linked my self worth to other kinds of strength that mm. um, you know like people band together to compensate for each other's strengths and weaknesses and whatever whatever strength you have be it mental um, emotional spiritual physical whatever that you you should offer that strength to other people to be beneficial for them. I think that's a very good way to sum that up. Yeah, um, episode that's... 29 was flexing debt. Yeah, and this was exact. yeah, <laughs> I had the same idea. Uh, this was uh, an idea of yours. It came from, um, it, yeah, explain what your idea of flexing debt was. When people spend shitloads of money so they can look a certain way to other people and they often end up in debt because of it. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, specifically spending shitloads of money they don't have. Right, no, yeah, normally what it is yeah 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 that you're you um you you want people to think of you a certain way so you spend money um on stuff to kind of sort of portray that image mm -hmm. and then maybe people think that you're some kind of like big shot or whatever but my cat is freaking out right now by that, the way that happens every episode but no that's that, i remember that was like one of the first real like whenever i first realized that every time I, almost every time I see a cool looking car driving down the road, that that's actually just a monthly payment that isn't like an asset that person has. Like that was a big yeah. realization towards like that kind of yeah. idea. Yeah. It's like, Hey, nice depreciating asset. Hey, you're going to have to get it fixed soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, episode 30 was, uh, living in a material world, which I think was just basically about the idea of materialism. Yeah, is that the one where the the thumbnail on YouTube was too much shit? Yes. Yeah, the that too much the too much funny. shit one. Yeah. Like I buried myself in my sneakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah, we went from this to okay. So the next episode's kind of tied in as well. Um. So yeah. So we talked about materialism. Um. What it is to, uh, to to put too much investment of, uh, just like you talked about with you putting your self worth external. I think when you were just talking about it, it was like with two other people, this is where you're putting your self worth kind of in other shit, like in, in, in yeah. external stuff that isn't people. And I remember the quote was a Madonna quote. 
I yeah mean, that's like that, what else are you gonna quote well exactly yeah that is kind of the, that is kind of the go-to um but yeah that was a, that was a good episode though because i think that that's uh another similar to um an episode a few back but in the western world this kind of this gets pushed a lot you yeah. know we we want to spend way too much time at work and then we want to have too much material shit to show for it um episode 31 is a little less more and that was the the finishing of this which is basically about uh minimalism yeah so kind of the the opposite of like how to now that we've looked at the idea of having too much shit how do we how do we carve our shit down to just the shit we need right yeah i think a lot of it was um i think one of the one of the points i made was like trying to get less better things like yes about like, being like quality over quantity yeah like one really nice item and that's pretty much it yeah that's going to last you and be durable and all that yeah yeah well i mean i even made the analogy of like doing the same to my magic collection of trying to take like okay here i've got a thousand bulk rares this place will buy for a quarter each let me trade in all of these for one four hundred dollar card and it, you know like cutting down to like one high quality card versus 400 pieces of shit like yeah just the idea of like taking your stuff and willing it down to quality and you only need like like you're saying you need i mean it's the same thing with like like uh just same thing with my cookware one high quality pan versus five different sizes of pans yeah, didn't you talk about that uh the was it the accountant what was that movie? The Ben Affleck oh, movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where he's on the spectrum and he has like the one bowl and you're like, that's all I have and that's all I need. And you exactly. thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, a, it's, it's like if you know that you're not entertaining anyone else, if literally all you need is every night you're eating one meal by yourself, like, yeah, why do you need a full set of plates? Like, yeah, just says one bowl, one fork. That's it. Um, episode 32 was uh, the, the comparison game. And I think this was mainly about, um, yeah, comparing ourselves to others. Yep. And could the, I mean, ideally avoiding that, right? Right. Yeah. Just avoiding the temptation to do so. And I, I think I m made a reference to one, one of Jordan Peterson's rules in his book, uh, 12 Rules for Life, where he said, uh, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not who you are, who, who someone else is today. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is a very good, I mean, and there is like, sometimes you have to do some comparison to others. I think we even talked about this in the episode, just to take some marker of where you are. Cause you can't just say like, fuck everyone else. I'm just on my own standard. Yeah. You know, you need to like have some standard compared to society, but the, the, what's most important is your, com your progress compared to yourself. Right. Yeah. Um, I think I can't remember. Like, uh, like, uh, Cause I, how do we, how do we fill up an hour on that? That's crazy. I must have had some really interesting notes and, and vice versa. Um, shit, we're done. Uh, next one, episode 33 is, uh, oh, dating a comedy of errors. We did a few Ooh. episodes that kind of touched on like dating and attraction and different subjects like yeah. that. It, it's actually kind of funny because looking back on that, I, I see my own like obsession with that specific subject. Cause I, <laughs> I've always been interested in people. Yeah. And for whatever reason, something about like dating and attraction has always kind of interested me. It, it is an interesting to topic though. I mean, it's not like, yeah. yeah. And I don't even remember like what we, what we talked about as far as, I think one of the major things that I said in that episode was that like that, that if you want to, that with dating people, like if you don't really care, if you attract a mate, you tend to att attract one. Yeah. We did get to that. Yeah. Where it does happen to like, yeah, it seems to be like when you're not looking for it, it it's yeah. when it finds you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest the biggest issue with that, the or at least like what I what I talked about specifically in that episode, like the biggest issue with that was like that. Um... <laughs> we are out of time. <laughs> it's so funny. We you started that sentence at eight seconds left and got none of it out. <laughs> so out of time, like I wasted the last eight seconds on a, a stupid look. You wasted the last eight seconds on uh, what, what I came to discover was a. Uh, uh, it's, it's like a, it's like Obama. Oh, no. Yes, yeah. Uh, I was trying to. God damn it! If Obama only had a fucking minute to make a speech, he would have fucking gave up on that shit. That was just so awesome because, like, I remember looking over and just being like, "Oh, perfect! He has like exactly enough time to make one point." And then I just, just blew it. I just, I just, 
time completely. Dude, no, it's it's perfect. It was a it was a dating episode. Fuck dating. That's I think I think that's what we need to <laughs> sum that one up. It is it's fuck dating, oh, right? It's just fucking difficult. It is a comedy of errors, and essentially all I did by sitting there going like, uh, was just highlighting how much of a clusterfuck the whole thing is. Exactly, exactly. Um, episode thirty four was uh solitary confinement, which we then talked about the importance of being alone or being single and how that can be very constructive as far as like learning who you are and and developing who you are yeah i don't remember any of this one which is interesting because like this is one we've now recently talked about that it's like it seems like you could take um something from because it's like you you kind of isolated that you you spend a lot of time as like a serial monogamous where you go from like one relationship to another so maybe it is like th- there might be something in this episode that could actually help you as far as like finding the value in just spending some time alone versus uh jumping from from girlfriend to girlfriend to boyfriend to the salamander to say hey, hey don't judge me that I'm salamander not... and i were in love oh i know i'm do i don't, I don't judge you and miss miss uh yeah, that's, Patricia. That's, that's, one that I think, that's one that I think I should probably really go back to for me, especially just because it'd be interesting to hear like what the fuck I had to say about it then and see like how I can use that to be better now. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Then um, episode 35 was Dating a Comedy of Errors Part 2. I had no idea there was even a second part to this episode. I, um, do you want me to just like make a weird look and waste another like eight seconds on this one? Well, it's actually no, it's perfect that you got the chance back to finish that thought. So take it away. Um, I don't even remember what the fuck I was trying to say right there. I have no clue. Um, I don't know where I was where I was trying to go with that one. Well, I mean, we already just kind of summed that up where it is. I mean, dating is a comedy of errors. It is like you're kind of putting yourself out there to be humiliated to some degree, right? Like it is. I mean, like dating is just kind of like it's kind of what it is. Like we're kind of we're taking risks. We're being silly. Like it, it is just going to be uh, I mean, it kind of goes along with some of our ideas of like stepping out of your comfort zone and doing things that are uh, like getting getting comfortable being uncomfortable. And that is kind of, I think, I think necessary for the idea of dating there. Yeah, I think I might have talked about some ideas of how to, because I think I was getting mixed up between that one and the first one. I think in that episode, like I was talking about like some of the things that you can kind of do, like if you want to date people. But um, if I may, Mm -hmm. just to say now in hindsight, focus on yourself. Yeah, I think that's always the most important. Yeah. That's all Um, you got to do. Episode 36, attract this. Focus on yourself. (laughs) So this is, so yeah, again, like part of the, the series of episodes that had to do with like attraction, dating, stuff like this. But then we also like, we came back to attra- attractive later. So, all right. So I guess like, that's my question. What, what did we talk about during attract this that we did not talk about during attractive? Focus on yourself. <laughs> um, I, I don't know necessarily what this episode was about that we didn't do later. Um, Focus on yourself. I, it sounds it sounds like a soundboard at this point. I might I might need that on my on my sample board. <laughs> Focus on yourself. Um, but no, yeah. So we did talk about like the idea, but I mean that, that's kind of what the it, at least that was in attract div. I don't know if during attract this if we talked any of any of that, but it was the ideas of like working on yourself for the idea it, it not necessarily to become more attractive but that as you work on yourself more you will necessarily be more attractive because you are a better version of yourself focus on yourself <laughs> um episode 37 is okay so this was part of a three part series that you came up with uh episode 37 was my body is ready about the idea of physical readiness <laughs> That title is so bad. It's a good one. What are you talking about? It just sounds like... My body is so ready. It sounds like we're on the wrong website. But my body... <laughs> my body is telling me yes. Sorry. Um, fantastic. I'm glad that <laughs> happened. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was just about like... Oh, yeah, I remember these now. Yeah, there were three in a row that all kind of like tied together. 
that we talked we called it physical readiness or like yeah that when the semantics of fit and fitness and what that actually means was like made for or prepared for or ready for yeah but it was all just about like making sure that you're in a condition that is i mean like you don't have to be necessarily you don't have to look like a greek god but it is just about like be in a condition that you can do things that normal everyday life asks you to do basically yeah. um and, oh good and you know to be in a, a position where you can help other people if you can you know like yeah or especially if you need to yeah yeah you want to be strong enough to jump over the person that's afraid to like open the exit when the plane crashes and then have the strength to like rip open the the actual hatch and remove all the shit and be like everybody get the fuck out of here and speaking of planes crashing the next episode in episode 38 is about situational awareness so that's you about yeah right. to get out of the plane exactly yeah it's about so once you've taken inventory you realize that what you need to do to yourself to have your body in a condition that is functional then it is making sure that you understand your situation dangers that could possibly be in the situation with you and just being observant and cognizant of your environment right yeah did i um did i talk about the ooda loop on that episode because i think i meant to i know that came up that, that came up on an episode i don't know if it was this one i can't 100 percent verify that but observe orient decide act so yes. you have to have an observation and an orientation in your surroundings in order to act yes you know knowing where exits are i think i might have talked about that and other things yeah yeah but i mean but basically yeah the biggest thing is just like just pay pay attention have a uh you know don't just kind of like float through life um not really being aware of your surroundings just you know take take inventory of where you are and what's going on around you be, be aware of what's what situation you're in um situation oh, geez, situation sorry episode 39 uh was then the culmination of those three which is actually about self-defense yeah you do not what is it you do not rise to the challenge you sink to the level of your training and i mean in this one we just kind of talked about how um the big takeaway from me was the uh i don't think we we said it how it was said that I've heard it recently, but like I've, I've heard it in like a few like firearms videos and stuff like that that I've watched recently, but it's like, um, oh, how was it worded? God damn it. Um, do I need a vamp while you figure no, it out? No, it's just, it's something like, um, when, when, when you need the police to be seconds away, they're minutes away or like, I forget the way that it's worded, but it's yeah. like, if yeah, it's like, but it's just that idea of like, we kind of, we kind of like have this idea of security blanket of like, knowing that there's a law enforcement s service that our country has. It's like, oh, well, th they can take care of it. I don't need to worry about defending my own self or my own property because there's this. And that's not necessarily always going to be there to help you, I think is the, the main takeaway that I took from that episode. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time trying to highlight the constant, like that there is no constitutional directive that the police are intended to protect mm. and serve. Like they can't get in trouble if they don't. I mean, it's at their discretion. Most cops will, but you know. But I mean, not only that, like, even if they're trying, they may just be five minutes out when you needed help in 30 seconds. And that's, you know, like, <laughs> like average response times at one. Yeah, point. yeah, we went into that. Yeah, where it's just like, I mean, the data is just there to show that it's like, I mean, literally, yeah, during a life and death situation when 30 seconds matters, they're 10 minutes away. And that's that's kind of scary. Um, episode 40 was the the COVID-19 special episode. Um, which, that's actually kind of funny. Now, when you look at the episode on YouTube, there's a big banner that comes up about like COVID-19, get the latest information. There's like links to all sorts of other shit. Um, probably because I have the title called COVID-19, but yeah. Uh, so that was about the beginnings of the, um, well, not the beginnings because we were already both working from home for quite a while at this point, I believe. Uh, this was, we filmed this on April 2nd. I don't remember if, do you remember when you first started working from home? When, when things changed for you? I think it might have been a week after that. See, for me, it was, I think it was a week before for me. I'm not or, sure now. It might have been the day before. I can't remember. But either way, I mean, this was our um, informational and, and uh, then uh, uh, in investigative, I would guess, dive into how COVID-19 has been affecting people that we, we know and interact with. And it was more about people than it was about it. And past yes. that, I have literally nothing to say about this. Yep. Um, I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Episode 41 was attractive. 
so this is then kind of following up to the attract this episode this was more about um the the personal uh personal like uh, self-improvement i guess idea where of just like kind of doing things to make yourself a better person was was a lot of what we talked about in this I also think is isn't this the one where like we watched that that sort of video like the experimental one where they showed oh, several people's faces? Yeah, from the one hundred humans. Yes. Yeah. That yes. Was yeah. A, that was that was part of this episode. Yeah, because this is like a, this is our first uh, uh, copyright claim. Wait, we we actually got a copyright claim. Yeah, we got a copyright claim from this one. Yeah, for watching part of that episode. Yeah. Hooray us! But um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting though. I just remembered like we were talking about that at the time and that episode came up and i thought it was like an interesting experiment um but yeah but it is interesting that we kind of like there's almost like a like formula for attraction as far as like faces go it's yeah. kind of like predictable yeah um okay 42 episode 42 was be your own reason to put on pants and this is another one that kind of fell in with the the whole like everyone working from home during the pandemic thing where we talked about the um, kind of being down and not really like not really getting together for work the way you normally would and not really getting dressed and stuff. And just kind of like, you know, if you're working in front of your webcam, you don't really have to put on pants. And it kind of became that thing. Like it was just a motivational thing that I said. It was like, it's more important to to be your own reason to put on pants. That was kind of the the idea for the beginnings of that episode. Yeah, that was um, that was actually kind of fun because for me, it at least kind of like gave some degree of some degree of hope for the situation because you know I was at home and I was lonely. Yeah, well, I see, I'm I'm still living through that, man. Like it, like a lot of stuff has changed for some people, but nothing nothing has changed for me. And and like I'm just I don't know. It is interesting. Like uh, I don't know. I guess that's a different conversation for a different time. But um, uh, but yeah. So we were yeah i mean it was mainly about just kind of taking the taking the self responsibility to say like do i'm doing this for myself you right, know like yeah. I, don't, I don't need to i don't i don't need to dress up for for someone else i could dress up to make myself feel better and you even so, made the point in that about like wearing wearing shoes to feel better and stuff like that around the house yeah, yeah, my lebron <laughs> yeah exactly yeah Cent centering self-care on self and not others exactly yes yeah um episode 43 okay so this was the this was the next time we tried what will be the the next um, format of the podcast. This was the killing of a sacred deer discussion and review. So this was this was the beginnings of it's fucked up. I think right wasn't that where it started up? Mm, it was fucked up. It is a, it is a fucked up movie though, but I fucking love it, man. It's a good one. I it's it is a it's a fucking good one. It's fucked up. Um, but yeah. yeah, this was where I think we. I mean, Joker. We found that we could take a piece of media and have an interesting self-reflective conversation about it. And then I think that, I don't know what, I don't know where this came from. You know, it's like, I mean, out of the blue, we just kind of had the idea to like, in a, in a long running, almost year long self, like, you know, self related podcast. It was like, all right, we'll just, we'll just do another talk about a movie. Um, but then we started falling into a groove that I think we like, but yeah, I mean, it was so, it was so fucked up that like, we had to have a friend watch it and also have a friend on and talk about it. Like it was just, there's so much going on in the movie that I thought to myself, like we, we can't not talk about this. Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. Out of, out of necessity. Um, okay. So then episode 44, uh, we then went back to our normal stride and this is the one just entitled friend. And I think this is mostly about, um, we kind of both had the same idea for this, where it's mostly about finding what, uh, what I would consider what, what we do for each other in a friendship that is more than right. just like being there as like, you know, someone to have fun with, but like trying to, trying to give someone value. Right. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I think that you made the point several times you recognize that like, we're not saying that there's anything wrong with other friendships. Like, yeah. This is just how we do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because I did feel like like during my preparation of the notes that it was getting like almost preachy or judgmental that it was like, this is the right way to have a friend. And if you don't do this, it's wrong. And it was like, I, I felt like during that, it was like, well, hold on. This is not this is not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is this is what friendship works for me. And if like if I'd say you're if you're interested in 
self-improvement or making yourself a better person, this is probably the friendship that would work for you. But if you're interested in just having fun and, you know, whatever, then you may have a different friendship that's, that's completely different. Um, episode 45 was uh, reasons versus excuses. That was the most recent we did of the, like, comparing and contrasting, which this is the one that I, I liked a lot. Um, and I still struggle with that. Not, not struggle, I guess, but I still am interested in the distinct difference between reasons and excuses. And when someone calls something a reason and sometimes it's an excuse and things like that. I think, I, I just think it's an interesting distinction. Yeah, that was fun because it is, I think one of the major like sort of challenges we had in the discussion is that it is really difficult to differentiate sometimes. Yeah. Well, especially um, when we went to the definitions and it's like, if you go by the definition, they're basically the same fucking thing. Yeah. And then we, I think we had to go like, we almost had to kind of self define them or like define them almost colloquially because of, you know, like the way that we see people do it in everyday life. Exactly. Yeah. For like the meanings of what we meant during that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a good one though. I, I enjoyed that. That's an, that's an idea that I enjoy. And that's like the, that's the type of explorative content that I feel like we're still going to be able to do very well through the lens of a film where it's just yeah, almost it, like the philosophical ideas of just like, what does this mean? What is the, the, what, what do we take from this? Um, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Episode 46. The, the title is <clears throat> the, the unwatchable movie challenge. This is the episode about the greasy strangler. This was a hundred percent our friend Craig's idea. And we did not exactly know where this was going to go. And we yeah. watched a completely fucked up movie. There was lots of man penis. Not enough, though. I, I could have dealt with a little bit more broken pool cue in that. Yeah, we also discussed the fact that the, <laughs> the, the, the fake oh, penis God. of one of the characters was a broken pool cue. On, on the topic of this movie, I, I did watch the other one. I watched it. I, I, the one I told you about on Netflix, the, the, an evening yeah. with Beverly. Yep. Yep. I did it. I did it to myself. Uh, and, and in this episode, um, uh, this is when I discussed my introduction to the word prickus. Oh, this was the start of prickus. That was the prickus. And like, you say it all the time now. It's Dude, like weird. I'm actually very disappointed your death knight's name isn't prickus. I am. Um, we, we really, we really missed an opportunity for your death knight to be named prickus. No. Or, or guild name prickus. No, actually, that would have been fucking Guild good. Guild name Prickus would have been great. Yeah. <laughs> or what? Juicy Prickus? What was it that he said? Yeah, he said, yeah, he said Juicy Prickus. Yeah, Juicy Prickus would be an amazing guild name. <laughs> so don't watch this movie ever and Prickus. Yeah, cor yeah exactly. Correct. Um, it was fucked up. Episode 47 was uh, the discussion and review of Drive, which that was your, your pick for movie. Yeah, one of my favorite movies that Craig shit talked the entire time. Like I was convinced he was playing some pretentious movie critic character. But he even like, like I did on the Gracie Strangler episode. He didn't hate it though. He just like he he rated it fairly highly. He just he wasn't in love with it. Fuck out of that movie. Like, but I also realized like how much of a. I feel like I was almost kind of a normie for liking the movie. Mm, I could see that. Yeah, I get what you're saying. That you're that like everybody else went so crazy about it. Maybe I just caught up in the got caught up in the hysteria of everyone else's excitement. But I, I thought, thought it was a good movie, movie, though. I thought it was a really interesting role for Ryan Gosling. It was yeah. He it was more complex, I think, than a lot of the other roles he plays. I think it and I think it was a well done movie. I think that the the I mean it, even I mean Craig can't disagree with this. The soundtrack fucking phenomenal. There was, was yeah. really, yeah, I think, that, I think the cinematography was great. I think there was a lot to that movie that is just objectively, as far as filmmaking goes, is, is very good. Yeah. There's some very pretty, very well put together shots. Um, episode 49, the discussion of ex machina. That was 48. Oh, hold on. Did I just, oh, I can't read. Yeah. I was, I'm sorry. I went from 40. I, I went from 47 to 49. Yes. My bad. Let me let me just pretend like this past past few seconds didn't happen. Episode forty eight, the discussion of Ex Machina. Um, this was my yeah my choice for movie. Um, out of the the section that we did there. Um, I love I love this movie. I think it's a great um, delve into the the thought experiment of what does artificial intelligence mean? What would the the uh, 
out the downfall or I'm sorry, excuse me, what would the fallout be if that were to actually happen in our world? And I think that it makes it, it does it in a very realistic feeling way in this movie, I think. Yeah. Um, the, the, the most fun part of that discussion for me was when we actually touched on um, uh, what defines intelligence and also the yeah. idea that y you touched on the fact that like survival is a very like intelligent thing. It's yeah. a very self-aware thing to do. And that's something I thought about a lot after that episode. I was like, man, that, that guy had a point. <laughs> um, uh, and also um, I asked the most important question, which was, can you fuck it? Would you fuck a robot? Yeah. I think that is the, oh my God. We, we all right. I think we do need to stop, start again with a new podcast, rebrand it. Can we just do the, would you fuck a robot podcast? <laughs> just every episode, we just show a different robot and it's just, would, would you, uh, we could split it into two sections. Would you fuck it? And could you fuck it? I think actually at first has, first has to be, could you fuck it? And then if you find out that it's possible, then it's, would you fuck it? Because if, if it's not possible, the would you fuck it is not even on the table. So you got to figure out the could you fuck it before you before you address the would you fuck it. Yeah. You have to establish if you could first. <laughs> um, episode 49 was the high fidelity movie review and discussion. Which that was... No, that was I'm 40. Kidding. Okay. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, you freaked me out. But no, so that was, that was Craig's pick for, for movie... Um, there, which I was delightfully surprised by. I had not seen that movie probably literally since it was in syndication on Comedy Central. I feel like I watched that movie probably like 15 or 20 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd, I'd never seen it. And essentially on that episode, I disclosed every terrible thing about myself. <laughs> Because that's what the movie reminded me of was all the bad shit about me. That is a really cool thing about that movie, though, is it, I don't know if that's like really what what Craig liked about it the most. I don't necessarily remember, but like it is it is really cool the way they introduce you to the main character and show you that he is just a v victimizing piece of shit that he feels like he's always the yeah. victim and he's normally the one that's 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 fucking up. Yeah, very much indeed. Yep. Um. Also, I have a huge crush on Lisa Bonet. I did learn that that episode. Yeah, correct, correct. Um, episode fifty is uh myself. Episode fifty was all about me. Uh, we just did a a it, it's almost it was autobiographical for me. I guess biographical for yeah. you. We went from my my birth all the way to my death. Actually, we cataloged we everything. Started, we started at the beginning. Yeah, but no, 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 no. This was about the idea of of the self, basically, and um, and I, and I think the importance, which kind of leads into the next episode, which is about putting putting yourself at the at the level of importance you should. Um, but yeah, where, where where does this one fall for you? What what, what are your feelings on this? It's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, that one that one for me was just kind of like getting out of a relationship and recognizing that. I would allowed that to distract myself throughout the entire time that I'd spent doing a self-improvement podcast mm -hmm. that I wasn't even really focusing that much on me. And if I'm being honest, like I'll be able to put all of the stuff, all the energy, all the content that we've used the last year into myself now, because I'm not Good. like talking about it. Um, that was an episode where I, I think I was somewhat disingenuous. I, rec I recognized how disingenuous I was and kind of came clean, and it was fucking humiliating. I feel you. Um, that brings us to episode 51 was about being selfish. And that was yeah. just the main, I mean, the main core part of that episode is looking at the idea of the word selfish and how very often most of us think of it as a negative thing. And we just kind of talked about how it's not necessarily or inherently negative to be selfish. Um, there are, we did kind of do the semantic thing where we looked at definitions and there are, there are ways that selfish is defined where it actually does say neglecting others or things like that, which it, that version of selfish probably is negative. If you are, if you are neglecting others that you could be helping, that's probably negative, but there is nothing wrong with doing things for yourself and being self-centered or self-selfish or selfish in the sense of I'm doing this for me because you are worth it. 
Focus on yeah. yourself. Which yeah, I mean, and I think if if I could if I could summarize the whole last year in like one little thing, it's that it's that you're worth it. And like it, it that was an idea that it took me a long time to get to. And it, the more people that realize that, I think the better. But we we like everyone makes mistakes. Everyone does stupid shit. Like, but that that doesn't discredit who you are. And if you are the type of person that at least I mean, even cares about the idea of building the self, building who you are, becoming a better person, then you're worth it. Um, don't be, don't be a perfectionist. Don't care about every little mistake you make. Just, just, just push towards positive trending change. And also, I mean, I think we've come up with this idea in a few, a few topics too. Um, but the change is not always linear. Every little setback does not necessarily mean that you've stepped back in anything. You know, I mean, if you look at like, I, I've likened it before to, excuse me, looking at like, um, uh, following a stock chart. If you watch a stock over the course of, you know, 10 years or whatever, it's going to rise and it's going to fall, but it's going to trend upwards. It doesn't matter if your, if your progress, you know, has little dips where you're, where you're falling back a little bit or things like that. As long as it's trending upwards, you're going in the right direction. Um, care about yourself work to better yourself, but don't beat yourself up over every little slip that happens. Um, it's been, it's been awesome this past year. I've really enjoyed a lot of what we've done. I, um, I mean, thank you distance for being here with me for 52 weeks. It's been, it's been fucking great, but I mean, more thank, thank you guys for, for watching and listening. Um, it's, it, it's awesome to be able to do this. I, I enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm very excited to see where we go the next year with uh, some slightly different, but um, but but still in the same vein uh, content. Did you did you meet yourself? Nah. I oh, was, okay. Yeah, it's weird. Like if I don't say anything, people are like, "Are you okay? <laughs> Did someone well, kill your puppy?" No, I, th I thought I saw your your mouth move on the. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's really the best way to sum it up. I think I like your your idea there that that you are worth it, and that's yeah. maybe that's where we've been trying to get for ourselves, and maybe where we've been trying to get um, for our listeners and our viewers. And I mean, we're we're happy that any number of people, no matter how small, care enough to listen and. Yeah. Um, you know that that's that's kind of why we're here yeah we're doing it for fun we're doing it for ourselves but without anyone to listen there's no point in a podcast um and sort of to commemorate the fact that this is the first year and we're done with it um i have a, a quote by an author that calls themselves c joy bell c i believe that's a pen name okay and i think this is from the book uh the sun is snowing um Ends are not bad things. They just mean that something else is about to begin. And there are many things that don't really end anyway. They just begin again in a new way. Ends are not bad, and many ends aren't really an ending. Some things are never ending. Oh, man. I, I normally give you the quote, and, and you have one. But I, hey, I have to, no, I have cool. to add a quote on top of that from it's the beginning. It's the beginning of a new era. Exactly. In the exactly. Okay. So, so touches my heart. I get, you guys know the fanboy that I am. There's a, oh, there's a quote from a brilliant man, Tony Stark. It's okay. part, part of the journey is the end. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first year of the Metacast podcast. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, please hit the like button, subscribe to keep up to date. And comment below and tell us um, what you think of the first year. Um, keep in mind, we will be live again next week, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, on uh, twitch.tv slash TylerTV. Um, if you're interested in further taking part, again, um, Discord's down below. Join it. And going forward, you would bring us a movie. So if you want to be a guest on a future episode, pick a movie that you want, to, you want us to watch and discuss with us. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for listening for this past year. I love each and every one of you and, um, I will see you next week.